Installing an SSD or solid state disk drive in your desktop computer has many benefits over the older hard disk drives like faster boot times, plus it's really easy to do. But before you begin there are a couple things you need to know. First, if you have the installed disk that came with your computer, the setup will be a breeze. Otherwise, you'll need to back up or clone your old drive. And it's always a good idea to make sure that your system BIOS is up to date first, so check your PC manufacturer's website before you begin. Also, static electricity can damage your PC, so it's best to wear an anti-static wrist strap to dissipate the static electricity. But without one, clear your desk from any static inducing items. And lastly, in most cases, a simple Phillips head screwdriver is all you'll need to replace a hard drive in your desktop computer. Start by shutting down your computer and removing all the cables from the back. Sometimes it helps to snap a quick photo to help you remember where each cable belongs when plugging them back in after we're finished. If you plan on adding the SSD drive instead of replacing your old drive, you need an open drive bay which should be easily accessible inside your computer by removing one of the side panels. You can usually distinguish the correct side panel by the large thumb screw or screws which are easy to remove by hand. Otherwise, you'll need to consult your computer manufacturer's website before you begin. Now slide off the side panel. Some computers may open differently, but once you get it open, you'll have a good view of the drive bays. Find the old hard drive, and you'll most likely find another drive bay nearby. If you don't have a 2.5 inch drive bay available, you'll need to attach a bracket like this to the SSD drive to fit the larger 3.5 inch drive bay. Slide the drive into place with the SATA and power connector facing outwards where you can access them, and line up the holes to screw it securely into place. Now, locate an unused power cable inside the computer. Anyone will do, just follow the group of cables coming from the power supply until you find one. Next, you need an SATA cable to connect from the motherboard to the SSD. Follow the SATA cables from your old hard drive and you'll find an available SATA connection on the motherboard. Connect the other end to the SSD drive. And that's it. Slide the side panel back in, screw it into place, and plug in the cables. With that done, now turn your computer on and insert the operating system installation CD. When prompted, boot from the CD-ROM drive. You can now install the operating system to the new SSD. Just be sure that if you left your old hard drive in, that you don't reinstall over your old drive or you could lose all your data. Make sure to do a custom install and select the drive that isn't partitioned or marked as unallocated space. And you're done. With the OS installed, you might have to change the boot order from your old drive to the new one. Otherwise, you can now copy over your files or restore from a backup. If you have any other questions or need additional help installing an SSD in your computer, be sure to visit kingston.com forward slash support for more information. Thanks for watching.